It's no secret that most of the royal family are big dog lovers. We are a nation of dog lovers, and the royal family is no different. Their passion for pets dates back centuries and plays an important role in legends and royal history. We recently found some information about royal dogs and their owners. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will tell you about the amazing pets of kings and queens. But before starting the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Queen's Dogs In Queen Elizabeth Hughes' Platinum Jubilee year, it's the perfect time to pay tribute to the depth of Her Majesty's enormous affection for the animals she has loved over the years. And of course, we can't talk about royal dogs without mentioning the Queen's Corgis. The Queen was given her first Pembroke Welsh Corgi, named Susan, as a birthday present when she was just 18. The little dog was so precious to her that she even accompanied the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh on their honeymoon. The Queen went on to own many more Corgis over the years, all descendants of Susan and helped popularize this loyal, bold, and active breed. She has also owned Dorges, a Corgi Dachshund cross, and Cocker Spaniels. The Queen considers her dogs an extension of her family, and are often part of her entourage on trips and visits. It is thought that she has had at least 30 dogs since her accession to the throne in 1952. When the Queen's Corgi Whisper died in 2018 followed by Vulcan her Dorgi, in 2020 the Queen reportedly decided not to get any more dogs, it seems her family had other ideas, however, and decided she needed a couple more dogs to keep her company. The Queen's latest acquisition is a Cocker Spaniel known as Lissy. A trained gun dog, Lissy recently saw off other competitors to win the Kennel Club Cocker Spaniel Championships. Prince Charles's Dogs The royal family's dogs are a diverse bunch, with each relative seemingly having their favorite breeds. In his younger days, the Prince of Wales was often pictured with his Golden Labrador Retriever, Harvey, and more recently Jack Russell Terriers were firm favorites with the Prince. Take Up, a Jack Russell, was perhaps the most famous of the Prince's dogs, appearing in many family portraits in the 1990s until his death at the ripe old age of 18. Today Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall share their home with two Jack Russells, Bluebell and Beth, who were adopted as rescues from Battersea, where the Duchess is a royal patron. The royal couple were photographed with dogs as they celebrated their 15th wedding anniversary in 2020. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's dogs Prince William's dog, Lupo, has become something of a royal celebrity thanks to his lively antics and clear devotion to his owners. A typically energetic and loving cocker spaniel, he regularly appeared in family photos, including the official picture released for young Prince George's birthday in 2016. Sadly, Lupo died in 2020 and was deeply mourned by all the Cambridges. He has been a heart of our family for the past nine years and will be greatly missed, the royal couple said in a statement on Instagram. Meanwhile, Kate's brother James has reportedly gifted the family with another Cocker Spaniel puppy from his own dog Ella's litter. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert's Dogs Not only the current royal family likes to surround themselves with pets, Earlier generations of royalty were just as attached to their favorite breeds. In the 19th century, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert did much to popularize pet ownership. Of all the gifts Victoria gave her beloved husband, one of the most poignant is a portrait of Prince Albert's dog Eos, painted by one of the most respected artists of the day, Sir Edwin Landseer. The majestic greyhound Eos has been Albert's faithful companion for more than 10 years. As the young prince prepared to travel to the UK to marry Victoria, he made sure to send her on. Queen Victoria was clearly delighted to see dear Dios who had arrived the evening before Albert. Queen Victoria herself is said to have kept and bred many pugs during her lifetime and helped make this playful and sociable breed a hit in high society. King Edward VII later inherited his great-grandmother Victoria's love of pugs and passed it on to his wife Wallace Simpson. During their life together, this couple, who shook the foundations of the British monarchy, are said to have owned at least 11 pugs. The Royal Spaniels While Corgis and Cockers may be firm favorites of modern royalty, perhaps the ultimate royal dog breed is one that was actually named after a monarch, the King Charles Spaniel and its cousin, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Toy Spaniels began to appear in Europe during the 16th century and were probably bred from larger sporting dogs to become the pets of royalty and the upper classes. Queen Elizabeth I is said to have owned a gentle Spaniel, as this new type of companion dog was known. During the reign of Charles Eu, a number of toy spaniel varieties were popular at court, including the red and white variety Blenheim and the tricolor Prince Charles, 
and came to be associated with the monarch. Fast forward to the era of dog shows and officially recognized breeds, and the Kennel Club decided to merge the different types of toy spaniels into one breed, which was named the King Charles Spaniel, with the blessing of King Edward VI himself. Keep the Royal Association In the early 20th century, flat-faced dogs with domed skulls and flatter muzzles like the pug were popular, and this also began to influence King Charles Spaniel breeding. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel developed when some breeders decided to try to bring back the more traditional style of slightly larger Spaniels with a flatter skull and longer muzzle. The Cab was recognized as a separate breed in 1945. One notable fan of the Royal Spaniel was the late Princess Margaret, who adored her Cava Rowley. Charles I himself would no doubt approve. The flamboyant king is said to never go anywhere without his spaniels and was even painted with one on his lap in his earliest known portrait aged four months. Although it does not seem like it, this is an important designation. Each branch of the royal family usually sticks to a particular breed for decades. That's all from today's video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know your opinion about the video in the comments section and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.